Hey everybody, thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm Hiccup the Hermit. And we found our new base location last time, wandering around on Valheim, just uh, sailing the seas, and we found the perfect base location, a tiny little plains. A tiny little plains just nestled right in between everything, everything we could need. Unfortunately guys, the plains, as small as it is, is really good at spawning things, like fullings and dead skeetos, and not so much locks. I mean, there's only the one spot we saw the locks at, and that was way over on the other side of the plains. We may have to go hunt them today because, guys, let me tell you something. The death skeetos spawn quite frequently, which is great. We're going to have a good access to a lot of needle arrows, which is going to make me so happy and such a good huntsman. But, yeah, I did the thing again. We were, we were out, we were building, we were trying to set up a cool base location over here, guys, to make it awesome. And honestly, I just got attacked. I, I didn't eat, I had very low health, and the Deskito just hit me from behind and it was bad. And they're always out here. Oh! Did not want to deal with this first thing in the morning. We just got here, guy. We just got here, guy. And see, guys, we are capable of handling the fullings if we can time that block. Ooh, it's bad if we don't. But yes, we need to get some walls set up. So this is the spot I'm thinking of claiming. It might need to be built up in certain areas and built down in others. I really want it to get it a little further out so that we are on the edge of this little river inlet. Because I'd love to turn this into a dock at some point with a little, like, spot out there. But what I really need right now are walls. And in a place like this, I really want to section everything off with stone. So we're going to go and try and make us that stone cutter today and mess with some stone and masonry building and see if we can throw down some stone walls so that maybe I can keep things out of here <laughs> while I'm building. Also did a little experiment. This giant rock pillar is mineable. So, as much as I would love to mine one, we may go mine that one down there and see what it's all about because I kind of want to build around and up on top of this one. Unless it gives some precious resource right on the inside, in which case we may have to take it down. But, yeah, guys, this is my spot. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Is it good? Is it going to be nice? I think it's going to be great. And that high vantage point is going to give us a great view of the mountain, the meadow, the swamps, and the black forest over there. I think this is going to be a great location. Anyway, guys, let's not waste any more time. I'm going to get out of the plains before we get attacked by Deskitos and more fullings. Uh, thankfully, we did set up over here in the meadows. And occasionally, gray dwarves wander out our way at night. But for the most part, we get pretty left alone out here. So this is a nice, this was a really nice spot. I ended up not moving more inland. Uh, we did have a storm. And it doesn't really come up very far into the whole base so I think we're safe we put the portal closer to the, the inland and we did build up the ground a little bit on this side yeah so we should be okay I think we'll be all right guys plus we have access to stone right here so hopefully we'll be able to mine this and use it to make the the stone cutter and the masonry thing there's one more thing I did want to mention guys guys I hear fighting stuff is fighting out here somewhere Anyway, guys, I like to keep you, like, apprised of everything that's happening, even if stuff happens off-camera. And I really try not to have things happen off-camera, but it occasionally happens. I apologize. It does. Um, just like we were out there building, and, guys, the craziest thing happened. You know, I was waiting for the next shoe to drop, for the next problem to come around. Um, usually it's the next kind of hint at a boss, I've noticed. Like, they'll send their next minions after you, you know. <clears throat> you know, be before we fought the swamp boss... It was, uh, it was the, the foul smell of the swamp or something. And I, I think it only happened once. Really wasn't hard to repel. I don't think they even noticed me very well up in my treehouse. So it, was, it, was, it wasn't really hard to deal with. But we did have another one happen. I was out there building and then this happened. Brace yourselves. It's pretty intense actually. It's kind of cool looking.
So yeah, that happened. Um, I didn't have my headset on, so I wasn't recording my voice. But uh, but yeah, that happened. Uh, the air was full of sulfur, and a bunch of sertilings came at me, and it was crazy. We had to fend them off on top of everything. So I'm really trying to claim this land here, but uh, who knows if I'll be able to, because we're going to be fighting for it, apparently, every step of the way, guys. It's going to be fun. Yeah, we had to start building some storage out here because I'm just, I'm getting way too much stuff. I keep, I keep killing things and it's great. Like, I'm loving the resource. It's very nice. Speaking of resource, we were going to go back and uh, cook some food. We finally have some raw meat on us. Which is very nice. We almost never have raw meat. Uh, oh my gosh, it's dark out, guys. It got really dark out. Maybe we should go sleep. We'll start cooking in the morning. Nah, the nighttime, you know, the nighttime is actually really nice for cooking. It, it is, because you're, you're near light the whole time anyway. So let's get down here. Yeah, I'm not used to having raw meat. Only two pieces. Guys, we had more than that. Crap, hang on. Okay, now we have ten pieces. That's more like it. Yeah, even ten is like a lot for me. I'm not used to having uh, food like this. I'm not used to having raw meat around. It's just something that just I just, I, I don't live near anything that really drops it around here and we run out of food quite frequently it really happens a lot guys no don't punch the chests wrong buttons 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 all right let's try and make a couple sausages a couple turnip stews just a few things to help us survive the day Ah, that's pretty good. Feeling much more taken care of on the food side of things now. I think we'll get by with all of that today. I need to go dump the rest of this stuff. Our inventory is always so busy. We have no space for storing anything here anymore. Oh gosh, it's so dark in here, guys. There we go. Light the place up. Gosh. Oh, am I out of resin? Alright, I've got some space in here. Let's Let's dump some stuff. There we go, guys. I think that'll get us through the next couple of days in game, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can build that that awesome stone cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and catch some shut eye, so that it can be nice and bright and early when we get back out there. Actually, we built a bed out there. We can go sleep. We can go sleep out there, guys. Let's let's go crash. Oh, unless that is the sunrise, we may not need to sleep. We're gonna try and sleep really quick. <gasps> the fire is not near enough to the bed. We'll just have to throw another one down out here, and we'll have to extend a campfire. We'll have to extend a roof over that eventually. Oh, guys, it's about to be morning. I can't sleep at this time. We missed it. We missed our chance. It's no longer morning, or it's no longer night. Oh well, that's all right, guys. Let's. Let's see if we can do, let's see if we can put together this, uh, this stone cutter. Let's see what this takes. Stone cutter requires two iron. All right, well, I guess we're immediately setting off in search of iron. So we're gonna go hit the swamp biome over there near our place where I've been building. Let's drop as much weight as we can. Only two medium potions, ooh. Will we survive? If we're going in the swamps, we may want poison resistance and more healing potions. Nah. Let's go make it risky. It'll be exciting, right? Right. Right. All right, here we go. We do have the swamp key, so if we get lucky enough to find a sunken crypt out here, I probably will jump in there just to find a chest. A chest hopefully full of scrap iron. Yep, we have a sunken crypt, guys. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a path over there. Put that back on. Buttons, buttons. Ow. Watch where you point that thing. Ah, crap. You know, Ooze, I don't want to. I don't I don't have an interest in fighting you. Yes, here we go, guys. All right, let's get down in here and find us some... Uh-oh, 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 okay. <laughs> ah. 
All right, guys. Yeah, let's get around in here and uh, find us some scrap iron to bring home so that we can make our little stone cutter. Scrap iron, just what I'm looking for. We'll save the ancient bark in here. All right, 13 pieces of scrap iron. If we can get a little more, yeah, we definitely have plenty more carry weight. If we can get a little more to bring back, that'd be great. All right, now we're carrying too much. There we go, 300. All right, but we've got 22 pieces. That'll get us by. Actually, 22 pieces. That, I think that should be enough, uh, just enough. We'll we get two for the stone cutter and then uh, two for the, or ten, 20 for the um, the tool bench. I think that's, is that, let me, you know, we have the, we could just check. Oh, it's 15. 15 iron. Oh, that's 20 iron for the anvil. Okay, so we'll have to come back for a little more for, no, maybe we'll make the anvil first. We can come back to try. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff happening out here. Forgot, wow, keep running. Ah, poison. Gotta love it. No. Gosh. All right. Headed back to the little outpost to make us a stone cutter. All right, so we'll have to set up a smelter real quick. Not a problem. Already got the Sirtling cores. Those, uh, that raid from the Sirtlings definitely left a few here with me. Yep. Five of those. We need some stone. We're going to try and build it around the other side here. Actually, we may just pop it down right here. That's fine. It's kind of temporary anyway. All right. And then they also left us with a good chunk of coal, too. There. Well, that's only one. Yeah, 42. There there's where there's where it was hiding. All right. Let me go through my inventory while that smelts up real quick, and then we'll get to building here as soon as it's done. All right, there's our two pieces. Can't really empty my inventory of anything, <laughs> but let's see what else we need to throw together the stone cutter. Four stone and 10 wood. Wow, it's actually pretty cheap. All right, let's make a stone cutter. Never had one of these before. Stone cutter, sharpening stone, heart. I didn't catch all that. Oh, stone walls, stone walls, stone pillars. Oh, guys, paved roads, stone stairs, stone stuff. We got stone everything. All right. Well, we're going to have to start building with the stone stuff. Let's see this. Oh, yes. One by one, two by one, four by two. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's actually epic and exactly what I need to go around the house. I feel like I'm missing some things. There were some other things that it let us build that I'm not seeing. Or am I crazy? Nope. Yeah, there it is. Hearth. Oh, guys, that's so cool. All right. Well, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of stone. Oh, crafting station needs a roof. Okay, so we were supposed to put this inside then. Let's go ahead and bust this down, pick it all back up. I figure I should have known. It is a crafting table. It was going to need a roof. I'm just going to tuck it in the corner because you have to approach it from the side anyway. All right, let's empty our inventory. And guys, I have so much stone actually back at the other house. Yeah, we got a ton right here. Guys, let's make a bunch of these walls and go see if we can... Oh, well, I might not be ready for it yet. Let me go back out there and show you why. Let me show you what I was doing real quick and then we'll try to figure out if maybe, maybe I'm ready, maybe not. I don't think so. Oh my gosh, guys, we need more storage out here already. I can barely store anything out here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's go take a trip out to the to the base location again real quick. All right, so this spot, yeah, we need to wall this in real good. May have to build it up in a bunch of places. Then again, maybe not, I'm not sure. But we've been trying to dig it back away from the pillar. I don't want anything to be able to come, you know, up to the wall here and, like, get down. So we've been trying to chop at least this much back. Which I might continue. It's been a decent source of stone, too. Which has been really nice, so... 
Let me chop this out real quick. Hopefully it won't take too long. Oh, the pick broke already. Yeah, this is taking a little bit of time to get to get right out here. It's uh We've been working at it though. But my gosh, guys, we've got so much stone saved up already. So I'm trying to experiment. All of these had, um, I think some of these had raspberries on them, even though technically we're in the plains. But we, we kind of just fertilized, you know, we didn't fertilize, we cultivated the ground there. Hopefully they'll start spawning stuff. I don't know if that's how that works, but we're trying it. We're trying it out. Definitely did want to wrap around this whole stone, even if we only catch, like, we may literally start the wall here on it, on its side. Well, in front of it. I don't want anything coming up and hitting it. So we may have a wall pass right in front of it. Just like that. Straight down here. This is going to be a nice little location. It's going to be quite the little keep. Alright, looks like i got to go back and fix my pick before we can do any more. I do want to chop a little bit more of that back. But we'll go ahead and craft a bunch of uh, stone walls uh, before we come back. So let me go gather up as much stone as we can carry. And I'm going to really use those double double walls the what are they the two by four wall the two by four stone walls i like the size six a piece though it's gonna be a bit expensive which is fine by me all right let's take a little trip home real quick Day 178. Alright. We're carrying a bunch of stone on us right now. Let's go ahead and see how many of these walls we can make. Sharpening stone. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't actually make it here. You just need to make that. And then I can make... Oh, do the stone walls and stuff? Yeah, it requires a stone cutter nearby. I see. It's just like the workbench. Okay, so we actually need to take this thing with us, which is going to make us too heavy now. Okay, we need to go and drop some some stone, I guess. Gosh. Whew, okay. Just enough. We have just enough space in the inventory for all this stuff and wait to carry it by. Let's go ahead and get back out here. The night has come and gone, so I have no doubts that when we get out here, we're going to find some kind of problem to deal with. Some fulling or more death skeetos. This is why we need the walls up. Bah. All right. Guys, look at that sunrise. Absolutely blinding. All right. So we're going to go ahead and build the stone cutter right here. course requires a bench first we're gonna have to run into the forest and grab a little bit more yep a little more wood really quick all right that should do it oh wow we're gonna have to build a couple of these guys we need a uh... yeah we're gonna need several of these uh, for now we may just move this one around with us you know for now if the walls ever need to be repaired I guess we can have like one pre-made that's like portable that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea oh, gosh you guys are gonna come up here see this is why we need the wall back here be gone with you slime all right just a little more chopping i really wanted to have some space back here behind the pillar you know i like this if we can keep this up and just get a sheer face on this wall back here and then put the stones uh, the stone walls directly across it that'd be perfect okay well that's enough of that I should be able to carve all this out in my own time later uh, as long as I know where the walls are gonna go now we can start throwing those up and see what those look like and how defensive they're gonna be hopefully very would be my hope you know oh yeah there we go Quite the digs there. But anyway, let's move this a little closer. 
Uh oh. I guess we're full up on stone again. Makes sense. Yeah, we want this over here so we can start building this wall. All right, let's get up there and see what we can make. Yeah, I'd love to get it to run like right across this line here. This would be so perfect. Just like that. Look at that. I'm trying to place this one underneath if I can. Oh, yep, yep, we had it. There it is. Oh, guys, this is going to be perfect. Uh, and then, see, I think we'd want a pillar on the end. And then to make it turn hard left. But we'll have to build the ground up out there a little bit. wonder if we can with the... Oh, yeah, we're going to need the bench back over here, though, to, to complete it. Ah, oh, bummer. But, really cool. How are we doing on stone? Oh, we've got a lot of stone left. Yeah, guys, let's keep stoning it up. Let's get this thing built. Look at this wall. This is actually a lot cheaper to build with than I thought it was going to be. You know, that's actually, like, that makes me really happy. Hmm, these walls are a little low. We're going to have to... There we go. Yeah, we might have to take the, the hoe around here for a little bit and see if we can... Uh... Oh, it's not going to work. We need to keep it going. Come on now. Okay, well, let's take the hoe and run it down this low section here. Yeah, and see if we can get a little more height out of our wall. No, we just have to build up a second time. I mean, I'm okay with that. That's fine. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, still going to build a second top. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a whole second row. How much stone we got left? Not a ton. Not a ton. But, guys, look at this wall. Oh, yes, and it's not really going to take a whole lot to build a ton of this. That makes me so happy. Guys, <laughs> let's get some stone out here. We're going to need a lot more, like a lot more. Wow. I guess you could stagger these if you wanted a different pattern. I didn't really think about it while I was placing them, but, but I think that's how a lot of the other places are built, a lot of the little <clears throat> fulling bases like that thing out there, but... I'm not going to do with that. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't want to experiment with that too much right yet. Perfectly happy with placing them nice and square. Keeps it easier for building for me right now in my head. Anyway. Big base. This is going to be awesome, guys. This is going to be so cool. Man, we need to... I wish we could carry more stone. It's taking quite a lot of stone. That sounded like falling laughter. Ooh, is that fulling not see us? This is the best way to deal with fullings. Ah. I think he waved at me like, haha, you missed. Did you see that? Ah, that's what I thought I saw. Look at the gold. I don't get a whole lot of gold per fulling, but that's okay, because any little bit helps. Pretty soon we'll have that that amulet of strength that Haldor sells, and I'm really gonna I'm really hoping I have a I have it down with you know, the I, I think it's going to give us more carry weight. I don't think it's going to make us hit harder. That just doesn't seem to be in the spirit of the game so far. I would hate to see that be a thing. I don't want to make, I don't want to become super strong, but being able to carry more carry weight. Now, for a single player, that would help me out so much. What do you think, guys? I think, I think right there. And then we'll put the one one here to make it go down. Yes. Actually really enjoy that. And we ran out of stone. Guys, we may make it drop right here, too, because that's going to be tall enough, and it's going to get lower. Oh, no, it's not. It's going to turn. But it is going to get a little lower out there. So this is a pretty good height wall. I think this will do a really good job of keeping everything out. And it is. I think it's getting to be nighttime again. We're spending so much time building. This is really exciting, though. I'm really excited to build all this stone stuff and see where this leads us. Now that we can make our own sharpening stones, we don't have to worry about dragging around the one that we found out on the plains forever ago. Because so far we've only ever found just that one. All right, well, we gotta make a run home, get some more stone. Uh-oh, something's keeping me from, oh, I have some black metal on me. And we have been saving that up. Not sure exactly what's gonna, what we're gonna need to, to smelt that, 
probably something after this next boss, because if it's a Sirtling Core boss, that's probably going to give us something that's going to help us smelt something better, or who knows? Who knows? Alright guys, I'm going to go crash. Actually, we're going to go grab as much stone as we can carry around the base, and then and then we'll crash, and in the morning we'll set right back out. Day 179. It's bright and early. We decided to sleep here to get the good rested bonus. A 15 minute bonus is really helpful. And now we're setting out again. So over the night we were able to move a bunch of stone out there. So we have about 500 stone. I think I have another 100 on me for a total of 600 stone. Let's see what we can throw down. Hopefully we can at least extend the wall all the way around the base. I'd really love that. That way I think I could camp there safely. Yeah, here we go. Boom. All right. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can do this, and that'll make the whole place, you know, I hope pretty safe. There we go. That'll do it. There is another fulling. Does he see us? He does. Well, that's a shame. I was hoping he wouldn't. Yeah. All right. So they're not the impossible monsters that we ran into the first time we played, <laughs> or came out, you know, to a, to a plains. Guys, look at our wall so far. It's coming along. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Ah! <laughs> that was a quick little switch there. Had to be, had to be quick on the draw. Yes, definitely need to raise these walls up a little bit more. Absolutely. Well, guys, I'm probably just going to keep building, and I'm going to roll a little montage of me throwing up the rest of the wall and hopefully the front gate. I think that might be as far as I can get today. Uh, but, yeah, if you found yourself enjoying this one, this little slice of uh, building in Valheim with me, I know it wasn't the most exciting episode, but, guys, this is going to be an epic base location. I can't wait to get the rest of it built and see what it becomes. I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. We'll get to build with all the new things, too. We'll get to put up a hearth and check out, you know, all this stone building. I'm really excited to get into uh, making the little turrets and towers that I have planned for this place. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of, I got a lot of plans, got a lot of ideas, and hopefully gonna really decorate this place too. We'll bring back a lot of the boss trophies from earlier in the game, and hopefully display those around the place and really make this place homey and, and functional. I'm gonna have a couple of farms out here, I'm hoping. Uh, I do have this plan and this vision in my head of making the gate on this side, and then it, and making a bridge over the over the pond, which is a little extravagant and kind of pointless since, you know, we've been running across it down there, and you can definitely just go up and around it, but I just really like the idea of having the gate somewhere right here and <laughs> having a bridge. I just, I really like that idea, so that's gonna happen, um, which may turn all of this into something else. I don't know. We may get rid of these these bushes. They're not really doing much over here. Oh, wow. We're done already? I think I might raise it up one more. What do you think? What do you guys think? I think it needs to be, I think it needs to be this tall all the way around. So anyway, guys, I'm going to keep building. I'm going to keep using up all the rest of the stone I got. But, you know, it's just going to be a bunch of me running back and and uh, running back and forth and trying to figure this stuff out and trying to build it up and make ourselves a lot safer in here. So, yeah, I hope that wasn't too short or boring for any of you guys. But thanks for hanging out with me and thanks for checking out my new area and the new base location that we're getting started. Uh, the stone cutter didn't really give us a whole bunch of new craftables, but it did give us a bunch of buildables, and that's what we want. We really want to just be able to build better things. We're going to have iron gates and stone pillars and stone stuff. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't wait to keep it going. So I'll go ahead and throw that montage here together at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend, and I will catch you next week with more from me. Pick up the hermit. So uh, stay tuned and check it out next week, yeah? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.